Charles Dickens' novel Little Dorrit was originally published in serial form between 1855 and 1857. The book satirizes government and society, with a particular focus on debtors' prisons, which imprisoned individuals unable to pay their debts, rendering them unable to work and keeping them captive until they could settle their debts. In Little Dorrit, the prison depicted is Marshalsea, where Charles Dickens' own father was once incarcerated. The opening section of the novel, titled Poverty, introduces William Dorrit, an unsuccessful businessman but a man of integrity. When he fails to meet his financial obligations to his creditors, he is sent to the Marshalsea debtors' prison in London. According to the law, Dorrit's family is allowed to live with him in his cell. Consequently, his wife and their two children, Fanny and Tip, join him. While in prison, they have another child named Amy, who is affectionately referred to as Little Dorrit due to her small stature. The inmates and the prison's warden dote on her. When Little Dorrit is eight years old, her mother passes away, and a few years later, Mrs. Bangham, who assisted in her birth, and the jailer, who had grown close to her, also die. Following the warden's death, William Dorrit becomes known as the father of the Marshalsea, and as Little Dorrit turns 16, she is referred to as the daughter of the Marshalsea. To support her family financially, Little Dorrit takes up sewing work. The story introduces another family when businessman Arthur Clennam returns to London from the Orient. His primary reason for coming back is to see his mother, as his father had passed away a year earlier. Before his father's death, he had given Clennam a watch containing a piece of paper with the letters DNF inscribed on it, serving as a reminder, do not forget. Assuming the watch was intended for his mother, Arthur Clennam had it shipped to her from China. However, she refuses to discuss the watch or its accompanying note with him. On his journey back to Europe, Clennam's boat docks in Marseilles, France, where he is quarantined alongside other passengers. During this time, he encounters Miss Wade, a couple named Meagles and their daughter Pet, as well as an orphan named Taddy Coram whom the Meagles family has adopted as a servant. Upon arriving in London, Clennam intends to inform his mother of his desire to leave the family business. However, he senses that something is amiss within the company and that there are undisclosed aspects to his parents' relationship. Meanwhile, Little Dorrit assists her siblings in securing jobs and leaving the prison. She herself becomes a household servant in the residence of Arthur Clennam's mother, leading to an encounter between her and Arthur. At this point, Little Dorrit is 22 years old. Arthur finds himself drawn to her and follows her to the Marshalsea, where she still resides with her father. Witnessing the poverty in which Little Dorrit lives, Arthur hopes to provide for her. Little Dorrit harbors deep affection for him but keeps her feelings hidden. Unbeknownst to her, the warden's son is also in love with her. Arthur asks Little Dorrit if she has ever heard his family name mentioned before working for his mother, to which she replies in the negative. However, both of them sense some connection between their families. Arthur enlists the help of Titus Barnacle, a bureaucrat, to uncover information about the Dorrit family's debt. As their investigation progresses, Arthur discovers that William Dorrit is an heir to a substantial fortune. After more than two decades, William is finally able to settle his debts and leave the prison. The second part of the book, titled Wealth, depicts the Dorrit family reclaiming their social status and embarking on a trip through Europe. However, with the exception of Little Dorrit, the family assumes an air of superiority. William becomes highly critical of Little Dorrit, who struggles to fit into the newfound high society that the family has joined. He schemes to arrange a marriage for her with a member of the upper class, despite her enduring love for Arthur Clennam. However, William's plans are disrupted when he passes away, leaving Little Dorrit to reside with her sister and brother-in-law, Edmund Sparkler. The family's financial prosperity is short-lived as Edmund squanders their wealth in a failed investment. Similarly, Arthur Clennam faces financial ruin and, along with the Dorrit family, finds himself imprisoned in the Marshalsea debtor's prison. During their time in prison, a French fugitive discovers that Arthur is not Mrs. Clennam's biological son, but rather the illegitimate child of his father. Arthur had been compelled to marry Mrs. Clennam under pressure from a wealthy uncle, who raised him as his own. In an attempt to alleviate his guilt, the uncle bequeathed his estate to Mrs. Clennam and her youngest daughter, who is none other than Little Dorrit, as he had no biological children of his own. Mrs. Clennam reveals the secrets of her past to Little Dorrit, 
causing their house to crumble both literally and metaphorically. In order to spare Arthur from the truth about his mother, Little Dorrit keeps the revelation a secret and consequently refrains from claiming her rightful inheritance. As the story nears its conclusion, a somewhat contrived event occurs. A wealthy business partner of Arthur's arrives from Turkey, leading to Arthur's release from prison. He then proceeds to marry Little Dorrit, bringing the narrative to a close. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.